Hello, the good people of YouTube. Welcome to the Max Plus Ideas channel. I'm Ken, and today I will show you how to make a simple wireless tele system. What is a tele system? It is basically an indicator system to inform the cameraman and or the presenter which camera is currently active in a multi camera up to four cameras production system. This system is linked to the multi-camera video mixer by detecting the red light on the mixer switch when that particular camera is selected. I'm using a Live Pro L1 video mixer and you could be using another type of mixer. However, as long as the active channel switch has a red light indicator, this system should work. This video is not a step-by-step -step tutorial in building the tally system, but a basic guide on its concept and construction. I assume you have a basic knowledge of electronics or know of someone who does, as it involves a little bit of wiring and soldering. This tally system is based on the EV1527 encoding chip and a 433 MHz transmitter and 4 receiver decoders. This system is user programmable, so the first step is to program this transceiver. First, to program the system, power up the receiver. This is achieved by connecting the power to a 9V battery and appropriate switch if needed. Press the learning button 9 times. It will blink 5 times to indicate that it is reset. To program, press the same button once. Then the blue light will be permanently on until you press A on the transmitter. Now the receiver 1 is program momentarily on as long as the A button is pressed on the transmitter. You may connect additional LEDs and resistors to complete this circuit. You may build the other three more circuits to complete the four channel systems or if you only intend to use two channels, you only need to build two. You need to program each channel separately by following the steps above and during the programming phase, select B on the transmitter for the second receiver and so on. To build the video mixer to transmitter interface, we will use the XHM131 module which is a relay, a 5V relay, activated by a light dependent resistor or LDR circuit. The first step is to make the LDR dependent only on the red light of the mixer switch. We can achieve this by adding a red filter. Basically, we are using a red sheet from a plastic bag, sticking it with a double-sided tape and attaching it to the surface of the LDR. This will filter out other light emitted from the outside as well as the green light from the video mixer switch. The LDR is then attached next to the mixer button to detect its light. You will need to wire up 4 XH M131 module if you intend to use four channels. Now you will need to connect the XH module to the EV1527 transmitter. You can refer to this diagram for reference. Basically, you need to connect the power source of all modules in parallel and connect to a USB or 5 volt port. Then the relay common cable center point is connected to the XH module and to the common of the transmitter. The NC, normally closed point on the relay, is connected to the relevant point of the transmitter. I.e. Relay 1 NC is connected to switch A, Relay 2 to switch B, and so on. Once all connections are made, the XH module needs to be calibrated to only detect the red light when active. By default, when no light is detected, the XH module will have a LED on it lit on. Switch on on the video mixer so channel 1 is on and the red light is lit. Adjust the, X, adjust the first XH module potentiometer blue box with the knob with a small screwdriver until the blue light or whatever color disappears. This is an indicator that it has detected the red light coming from the video mixer. Press another source on the mixer and the red light should be off. And the XH module LED indicator should turn on. If not, turn the potentiometer until the blue light comes on. This channel is now correctly calibrated. Now, calibrate for the other channels. 
If all the connections are correct, the red light indicator on the mixer will activate the relevant XH module and in turn activate the EV1527 transmitter and this in turn will send a signal to the relevant receiver. Once this is done, the last step is to make a simple box to house the electronics. And there you have it, a simple tally system. Thank you and I hope you are successful in making this work too.